guys, I got a recipe for y'all. You got to try this. Listen, I'm making apple pie oatmeal. All right, so I started with my oatmeal. And, of course, it's done. So I've added some swerve brown sugar, some apple pie spice, and a little bit of vegan butter. All right, so I'm going to stir it well. Now, I had some mellow apples that were really soft, getting soft. And I had some hard ones, too. And I combined them together. And, of course, I made some stewed apples. Um, peel the apples, slice the apples, and I put them in a pot, let them boil down. And then I added some cinnamon. Of course, some, uh, you can use the apple pie spice if you don't have that. Use some nutmeg, some cinnamon, etc. Um, a little bit of vegan butter. And then what I did to, um, and I didn't have to thicken the uh, gravy on it because the mellow apples actually began to fall apart. And of course, they created their own thickness. All right. So that's why it's really good to throw a mellow apple in there whenever you're stewing apples because then you don't have to add any flour or cornstarch to thicken the gravy. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to layer this in a bowl. I'm going to put my, uh, my uh, oatmeal on the bottom, my apples on top, and I'm going to sprinkle the top with either some pecans or some walnuts, whatever it is that I have in my cupboard. All right. There you have it, y'all. Apple pie oatmeal. Check that out. Wow. Now, if you want to put like a little dollop of Cool Whip on top, vegan Cool Whip, you can do that too. This right here is a good breakfast. Mm, 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 mm. And it can also act as a dessert. Like I said, put your little Cool Whip on it and it can turn it quickly into a dessert. But this is an apple pie oatmeal. There you have it. God has created an amazing day, a great day just for us, and he's allowing us to manage it. So manage it well. <laughs>